Okay. Hi, everybody. I know it's been a minute. This is Sabrina the Braid Queen, and I know you haven't seen me. I've been really busy. But, um, I know you tune in to see the latest braid styles and stuff, but got a little surprise. Um, if you guys been following me like a lot of you have, thank you. I, you know, did the 40, Fit at 40 video and remember when I got married in 2007. And during that time, I really wanted a baby. Really bad. You know, I have three. Remember, Justin, Joy, and Jaden. But I really wanted another baby. And I had, um, you know, after the divorce, because I did get divorced in 2010. Okay. I'm back. Well, what I was saying was... You know, I had just had a conversation with God, and I was like, you know, Lord, okay, I'm happy with the three beautiful children I have, and, you know, maybe it's just not in the cards for me to have any more, so I'm just going to lose weight, and I'm going to get it together, and I'm going to be the finest thing walking <laughs> at 42, because I'm 42, remember that, born August 7th, 1969. So, you know, working hard, always a, you know, huge turnover of staff at Braves by Sabrina, always training new people. So, I had got sick, really, really sick, you know, and my biological mother is an insulin-dependent diabetic. So, when I got sick, the symptoms I had, extreme fatigue, I was worried. So, I Googled them, of course, and um, thanks to the internet. <laughs> and I was convinced that I was in the early stages of diabetes. But it said that I could regulate it by diet and exercise. So all the month of maybe March, I had got the girls and we were I'm like, Joy and Jaden, we're going to work out. Mommy got to be healthy. So we were working out at the park and we we're walking, you know, that park on Stockton La Brea. Some of you might have saw me every morning. And, um, you know, it, I was just getting sicker. And sicker you know really sick nauseated I have acid reflux but oh it just was something different so I waited and waited you know because I'm busy you know because sometimes maybe I was a little scared so I finally went to hospital because not till April <laughs> yes that's how long I waited I waited and waited and, and I went to the hospital finally April 18th and I went in with my little pad I was like you know I've already Googled my symptoms. I'm going to tell you about my family history. My biological mother is an insulin-dependent diabetic. And I'm, I'm about 100% sure that I have diabetes. You know, or maybe, I don't know, combined with premenopause. And, and the last symptom that I, I so wonderfully discovered from our internet was stomach cancer. I was like, mm, if it's not diabetes, it's stomach cancer. So, here I am. They're looking at me like, are you a doctor? I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I Googled it. Then I'm pretty sure, you know, we rely on that internet. So, I was there for hours and hours. They ran all these tests. They was like, oh, I ain't changing to be pregnant. I was like, oh, no, no, no. You know, I'm a little too old for that. Um, I've had irregular periods for years, honestly, which is probably one of the reasons why I wasn't able to conceive. But I was like, no, that's why I'm worried, you know, because I'm not pregnant. And some of the symptoms of diabetes, if you check them out in pregnancy, are the same. So I'm really worried because I have these symptoms and it's not pregnancy. So they had me there for hours, ultrasounds, da 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 And I'll be right back to tell you what they found. So, okay, I'm back. So, after, uh-oh, camera shaking. So after hours and hours, I call my good friend Velma. You guys remember Velma from the video? She's doing wonderful, by the way. And she came to the hospital. Um, I call my best friend, my BFF, Phil. You guys know him. Um, seen at all my parties. And I was like, you know, I think I have diabetes. They, the test got to come back. So the lady comes back. They're right about to roll me in for an ultrasound for to check for gallstones or appendicitis. And... The lady comes back and she's like, you're pregnant. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. We talked about this, remember? I can't get pregnant. I'm 42. I have irregular periods. It's not that. That's why I'm here. She said, 
No, you're pregnant. I looked at her, I said, because I really wasn't receiving it. I'm not an in denial person, understand. It's just that I wanted to be pregnant between ages of 35 and 41. You know, and I just had a conversation with God. I just said, Lord, okay, okay, I'm going to stop being greedy. I already have three children. You know, maybe it's not in the car for me to have another one. So I've really given up on that idea. And I was like, getting it together. So finally, well, no sooner than I tried to accept it, she showed me the little test. And she was like, no, you're pregnant. And then they were rolling me off to do the ultrasound. So not even five minutes after I tried to accept that I was pregnant, she... I was on an ultrasound table, and this is the bad part. Well, it's a blessing, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, God. I was already two and a half months pregnant. Didn't know there was a baby. Bam! This baby, this is the first thing I saw that day. This is the ultrasound from April 18th. Can you believe? Already. Oh, my God. I had already been pregnant, all that working out I was doing. You know, only... Thing. I just didn't know he was in there like why when are you gonna realize I'm here and start taking some prenatal you know I was worried because I hadn't had any prenatal any folic acid you know and I'm like wow I can't believe it because I'm so not the person for denial it's just not my personality to be like oh I'm not pregnant I'm not pregnant I'm not pregnant I really didn't believe I could conceive anymore I thought I was if, if I didn't have the diabetes or the stomach cancer I was pretty sure I was approaching premenopause but so that's where I've been, your braid queen. So, of course, as a woman, as a mother, the minute we find out, we want it. We're like, oh, we shift into this protective mode. So, I immediately started working less. The only good thing is that because I thought it was diabetes, I had already started eating better and had already started working out. I don't know about the working out if that was really good or not. You know, just thank God that I didn't do too much, you know. But, so... That was a month and a half ago. I don't know. It's the 21st, 20th to 22nd of May now. So I've spent the past four or five weeks dealing with high-risk doctors because no matter what, when you're pregnant over 35, you are high-risk. And, you know, you have to have all these chromosomal tests. So that was the first shot of the baby. And I said he all the time, but I don't You know, we didn't really know. I don't know. So... That's where I've been. That's why you haven't seen so many videos. You know, and, um, you know, there have been times, you know, it's like, Lord, you know, sometimes we ask God for something, and then we, it's so much time pass that we forget. <laughs> We're like, oh, oh, yeah, Lord, I did ask for that. <laughs> so here we are, six years after I asked for a baby, you know, and, you know, a little older than I would have probably planned it, but... I'm pregnant. So now I am 13 weeks. I'm 13 weeks. Um, well, there's two different, you know how they do that gestational 12 weeks and five days or 13 weeks and one day. I don't know, but I'm three months. Um, you know, and of course, I would have preferred to lose a little weight. You know, maybe not be 160 pounds. You know, there's a tummy there already, which maybe at 12 weeks, you shouldn't have a belly yet, but I was already fat, but there it is. Can't show you the skin because I have on a dress. So, if you're interested in taking this journey with the Braid Queen, I'll be here. Um, so, I'll be back because I have another surprise, because remember, that was April 18th. Now we're at May 22nd, so there have been some... Um, discoveries and no I am not married any longer um this is baby is like my love child uh, between me and a very good friend of mine of 15 years that you know we just decided to cross that line <laughs> and when we did bam baby so all babies are blessings so I'm gonna stop looking at the pros and it's a beautiful blessing I get the opportunity to be a mother again with with just which if some of you know me you know that is like first and foremost in my life I have Justin who is 23 I have Joy who is eight, 17 she'll be 18 next month and I have Jaden my baby she's 10 so 
Now we have to come up with a J name, so you guys can help me with that too. <laughs> I'll be back. This is Braised by Sabrina, your Braid Queen. And I will still post the shop videos, okay? Because you guys got to see the new people. You probably won't even recognize the people in the videos now. <laughs> Bye-bye.